Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As I do daily readings for Virgo. Please keep in mind that this is general, so if you need a personal, be sure to email, as I said before. And I do have exclusive Virgo messages that's separate from the uh, readings that I put on this channel. Only those that have a membership will have access to those exclusive readings, so keep that in mind here, okay? Let's see what's going on, what we might need to know at this time. Okay, somebody here could be lacking, reflecting on something or bringing conclusion to a situation, okay? Yeah, there's something about your ideation or what you're thinking analytically, okay? There's something that you're trying to do without having fear or anger being brought into a situation, but just using your ambitious energy um, to kind of process something, move forward with it, or whatever the case may be. Look, passion and success. So something is going to work out. And I feel like because you have the right attitude, you're doing everything that you need to do to make sure things are balanced. Okay? Somebody here may be unhappy, but it's like, whatever this is, it's being balanced out. Okay? Okay? See what messages are here. What do we need to know for Virgo? Okay, so we have coroner. Wow. Coroner pimping out own son or daughter to a significant other or anyone to make money. Investigators are watching you or them. Okay. Somebody is being investigated or watched because it looks like there's an energy of a person that's using their own children to make them money, okay? Somebody could have a low IQ. Tell me more about this coroner. Somebody here could be deceased or there is an investigation being open to see what somebody's involvement is when it comes to the death of someone. King of Wands and Justice in reverse, okay? Mm. I'm getting like social media meetup with the world card or somebody could be a foreigner. There could have been some sort of travel. And it looks like somebody could have been um, approaching a woman or a man. In this case, it looks like it could be a woman because the king of wands is here. It could be a masculine too. But I do see a woman in this world card here. Okay. Somebody here may have been rejected. Okay. This person could have been stalking this woman. Yep, Queen of Wands. There could have been a jealousy of a person that may be ending one relationship to go to another, but the person that they wanted to go to wasn't interested in what they were and could have been fatally killed, okay? picking up something about a pressure point something is going to be revealed all right tell me more about this um king of wands to the justice card and this is not a tarot reading uh, well this portion of it i'm just clarifying the corner let's see what the messages are What's the message for King of Wands to the Justice card? Libra and Fire sign could be significant. Yep. 
the three of wands in reverse aries seven of swords aquarius knight of swords capricorn aquarius aquarius being the significant sign there was obviously some sort of lies cheating deceit that may have uh ignited this situation to get to where it is somebody feels like they were used or somebody cared to be a part of um like a like a secure relationship or foundation and i'm telling you look the justice in the world is coming out in another uh deck in the middle okay somebody here screwed a person over legally or left somebody to deal with something oh somebody decided to deal with a person that um has some sort of ties to a legal um legal officer whatever the case may be problems with business yep somebody felt done wrong okay and the reason why somebody could be watching you or them is because there is affiliations between you and a person that could be an officer whatever the case may be damn or did somebody snake a person and tell them, I don't really know. But something happened. Anyway, I'm going to go into the read now. Message. For Virgo. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Something is happening one after the other. The Two of Pentacles is in the middle of the deck. There's like chaos, you know, going back and forth, indecisive, lack of knowledge, money, understanding. I'm telling you, there was a powerful person that you know had a complicated dynamic with this individual it's like the the connection between you and this this masculine was complicated okay somebody here somebody here may have put themselves in a position to think like what did I do I could have pushed too many buttons and considered the options that I had and did too much yep to a source Somebody here could be trying to hide the fact that they lied or that they tried to do something. There was an attempt of something. See, King of Wands, that was over here in the reverse is in the upright. Somebody replaced a King of Wands that they had previous to another King of Wands. This is another one, okay? Somebody has a type. When they're looking for a person, whoever this woman is, she has a type here. She replaces one king of wands for another. This king of wands wasn't doing enough, so he went ahead and did something to her or this person that she's close to that works in a legal, um, behind a legal desk in some way. Okay brought down a tower the nine of wands talks about like being afraid okay somebody here could be afraid of something somebody is nervous anxious whatever this is Nine of Wands for 
Virgo, Nine of Wands in the upright for Virgo. The Hermit. Somebody felt lonely, even if they had a King of Wands. This person wasn't matching up with what they were looking for or the attention that they needed from this individual. Somebody is going through grief and is afraid that they'll be next. Somebody is on the move. Okay. Somebody feels like now that something has happened to this particular person, they're going to be questioned, investigated, etc. Somebody here needs to sober up, uh, reclaim their power, release something to be free. Okay. I feel like without a person, mm, this woman could have been asked to set up this, this masculine this king of wands that piques her interest for him to do something to this individual. Somebody, whoever this masculine was before this king of wands, I'm telling you, it's like this woman jumped from one person to another and it could have got somebody murked. Okay. Little does she know she's being watched. And I think she was in some sort of business with this King of Wands in reverse. And she kind of jumped to jump ship to somewhere else. With the same, you know, passionate, creative, handsome. That's her MO. I don't know if this person knew what this other king of wands does for work but apparently he's connected to somebody through um family friend etc it's like he's connected to um the legal system in some way i didn't know i'd be getting this type of reading Let's see here. The number nine could mean something to somebody. What's the message? We have a firm foundation. Somebody could have been jealous of the relationship that you had with a particular individual. Okay, you could be close to somebody. And the type of closest that you have between this king of wands in reverse versus others it's very different and somebody's in their head like well why do you talk to them like this why do you hug this person like this why do you do da 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 this person always had an issue there were jealousy issues we have shadow and firm foundation with a uh, victory and success in the truth so somebody here may have needed to make a decision between working with one king of wands to the next Somebody was not going to let this consolidate, okay? And somebody didn't want to be in the position to choose. There is definitely deception and envy, okay? I'm telling you, jealousy, all that, okay? Somebody's birthday could be April 18th, July 20th, okay? Six to seven months or minutes could mean something to somebody, Somebody's name is Eliza, E-L-I-Z-A. Hmm. What's this shadow and firm foundation? Somebody here could be doing the shadow work to gain firm foundation, and I feel like this is judgment for somebody. This is what somebody was after, their own stability to make their own way to learn, to kind of capitalize off what they're learning and teach others. Yeah, Ten of Cups is the overall energy after this. What's this victory and success truth and choose wisely? The Chariot. Something was not working out. It didn't move forward or somebody felt like they had a hard time progressing with something. Somebody had a hard time progressing with to be the queen of pentacles or whatever yeah 
somebody was very well recognized or noticed but they weren't making money from whatever it was that they were doing or something wasn't um i don't know somebody didn't feel like a person was professional the way that they were trying to go about something and whoever this king of wands was they became suspicious like this person is pulling away from me like you know this person is you know changing it's like the way that they used to speak to me is even different the communication is off yeah somebody was slowly releasing someone that they didn't feel uh they wanted to deal with or be with whatever this may be here somebody definitely put their guard up or has their guard up i don't know who this reading is for but this is the energies that's coming out. Okay, so the card that's popping up here is uh, the 12th house, Pluto, and Aquarius. Somebody could be Aquarius here. Remember, we did say something about a, an Aquarius. Somebody has two placements of Aquarius. You will become a person of power and status in the 10th house because of the desires or what you were able to manifest, okay? And like I said, remember we were talking about your feelings. It's like everything is colliding together when we pull the first card. Yeah, it's like you're very in tune with yourself currently at this time and whatever it is that you want, it's like you're setting the intention for it to come to pass here. Somebody could also be a Cancerian. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of um, forms of attraction. Or it's like you're keeping your involvement with somebody under wraps with this 12th house. It's like you choose what you want to share with somebody. I feel like it has something to do with this king of wands in the upright to the king of wands in reverse okay somebody no longer wants to do something the illegal way or doesn't want to take advantage of something to end up losing everything so they they're going from one king of wands to the other i don't know why i'm picking that up like that but everything is aligning okay with this pluto card it's like you're putting everything on the line to get some sort of result here and you're putting all of your your might into it okay i'm telling you this is this could be your anical, anical, analytical energy for you to get something done let's see what's going on in love tell me more when it comes to Virgo's love life. Okay. So I feel like you're trying to find a difference of um, seeing things. Okay. You're not trying to mirror what somebody else is thinking or maybe going through. Somebody here could be attracted to you or you're attracted to them. Or somebody's attractive because of where their head's at what their mindset is, what their soul path or purpose could be, or vice versa. Somebody may feel like this about you. Somebody could be uh, going back on putting themselves in delay to come towards you because they're trying to find forgiveness or a means of, of an apology to give you. They want to make sure that the way that they come towards you is correct. Okay, somebody here may be hindering themselves, but there's going to be communication about a forever potential or a life partner that somebody has. Okay. Somebody's definitely grown or learned from karmic lessons pertaining to deceit. Okay. Somebody could have been deceitful about a, a relationship that they might have been in. Okay, but somebody wants a person or has somebody um, that they want to love unconditionally or are loving unconditionally. This is no surprise. Somebody may be revealing their feelings 
for you or somebody else that they could be dealing with, but somebody is in regret because they understand that they sabotaged something here. What are the dark confessions? Dark confessions for Virgo. What does your person want to tell you? Yeah, they feel like you've become too difficult for them to handle and it's a big turn off. I'm telling you, that's how somebody felt. I have lost all control of my life. I keep messing up. So somebody here is definitely drifting emotionally and personally. Okay. What about you has become too difficult for this person? What about you has become too difficult? There, there's a lack of um, compatibility or um, depending on what this person believes in, they feel like they have to go something alone because y'all's visions are two separate things, okay? That's why they may have completed a cycle here. Yep. This person is hurting about this though, okay? They may not be clear or even accurate with how they're telling this to you. I'm telling you, there's something about what they're hiding. They're not telling you exactly why they felt they needed to force themselves in a different direction, but it is what it is. They're, they're just hoping that they can be strong through it. Yep. Six of Wands. Leo, Taurus... Capricorn, Virgo could be significant for this five of pentacles. Okay, there's going to be quick communication or movement. Okay, somebody's going to come in to try to um, conversate with you. They could be looking you up online, driving past your house, asking people around for you or asking them to keep eyes on you. Yeah, I keep getting the page of swords. Somebody hasn't seen you in a minute or you haven't seen them. And they feel like uh, somebody can feel your energy. There's something about your potential. Okay. I'm hearing about Rikers. Somebody here could be incarcerated or could be going to schedule a visit to see somebody or whatever the case may be. This could be to confront a person about um, an infidelity or not being able to trust somebody or whatever the case may be. Damn. Somebody here may have been paid to watch or somebody is um, at work, but a person feels like this, this individual could be cheating, okay? Somebody's working to support their family, okay? Somebody is a hard worker, is very skilled at what they do. Somebody here could potentially be pregnant or somebody at least thinks that they are. Damn. Yeah, but I feel like whoever this lover is, this Gemini, or somebody that has Gemini in their chart, it's like the passion that hasn't been there to even be interacting with this individual. So how would this person uh, come up pregnant? It's that kind of energy. And if this person is in prison, then, you know, somebody could... He could be from New York. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. What's the message for Virgo? Okay. So the overall energy here is target and then we have money pass. So there's a goal oriented person or something it's like somebody's target is to find money or to come up with an idea so that they can turn it into an investment here. We also have victory and bull. So you're going to be claiming victory over somebody that wanted you to be scared of them for something. It has something to do with 
a business idea, money, or whatever this is here. There's something about a business plan or a blueprint or whatever this is. Somebody has access to this here. Like I said, somebody's dealing with the king of wands in the upright. This is somebody totally different. We have expectations in reverse energy and chemistry. So somebody didn't expect for the chemistry that they have towards somebody just to be a, a memory. So this is something that, that kind of has been going on for uh, a long time. It's like your chemistry between you and this person hasn't been the same. Somebody here could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag fire sign here or could be uh, connecting to somebody with this sign. Yeah, somebody's definitely anxious or something gives a person anxiety. Somebody is definitely going to be booed up or somebody is going to be asked to be a Valentine because I know Valentine's Day is coming up. Somebody here is going to be seen clearly pertaining to something that is going wrong or whatever the case may be. Something could be going wrong because of a childish baby mama. Okay, somebody's in their feelings about money that you're making or about to get. Yes, yeah, somebody's obsessed with celebrating exactly what you are. Okay, but it might not have anything to do with them. Okay. The direction that you were moving in was the wrong way. Make a U-turn. So somebody was going in the wrong direction. I'm going to need some elaborate commentary when it comes to that. Somebody's name is Oscar, or I'm getting Kaiser. Somebody's name is Doreen. I heard military or militant. Two of swords. Yeah, somebody was a liar. Somebody was a big old liar, okay? And it looks like they were trying to make peace with you because they didn't want you to find out about them trying to separate from you and take everything or to accomplish something here. This person was a habitual liar, okay? Or you could have been, somebody wanted to protect whatever the secret was or whatever their plan was to use this against you. Yeah, they had to neutralize the energy. Somebody here could have been doing spell work too, okay? This spell work may have had something to do with fire or a fire sign. What's the energy? What's the message? Okay, so somebody's definitely moving on. From a, an old version of themselves or a relationship, a job, a previous issue. We have stalker. So somebody off and on could have been holding a grudge because you moved on here. I feel like somebody's lacking hope or faith in the justice or legal system. Somebody could be stalking a person or keeping up to date with somebody through a fake social media account to spy. This could be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Okay. Somebody here is not happy because they love you, but it's like you're moving in silence. You ain't telling them shit. They don't know what's going on, so they got to spy. They don't want to pry to look like a creep. Okay. So they got to play their roles. To 
tell me more here? What do we need to know for Virgo? Look, love triangle. Somebody is playing with fire. And it looks like they could be in trouble financially, too. Somebody is hiding their true selves. Maybe they don't trust you. But they really care about you, but they're having difficulty expressing it. Okay. So there's definitely a third party situation here. So somebody is having a lack of fortune right now, or somebody could be down and out financially. I feel like this is because of a karmic family or the, the bond breakage between you and a family member or family members. Okay, I feel like there's something that's going to be revealed about a, a particular person that could want to profit from something or could have been behind a mask. Somebody here may have profited from something that you have done or put effort into, and they are going to jail here. Somebody needs to get ready. Somebody's going to become a whole different person in, in jail, okay? Somebody could be committing their life to God or getting closer or forming some, some type of relationship with God or whatever the case may be, because somebody knows they can't make it without him, okay? Somebody may be uh, on the verge of losing their stability, their home, etc. Or somebody has been keeping their homelessness under wraps, okay? Trying to change their situation. I'm also getting that somebody here, right? If they have a, a dark attachment or an entity on them, I feel like you have no recollection of what this is. I don't know if you're replenishing your own energies or you're blocking it out, but somebody doesn't remember this. I feel like there's a tarot reader that could be um, picking up on something that's overwhelming you, okay? You might need to confess, okay? A confession leads to a blessing or some sort of fulfillment here. That's not a trap and it's not a test. triumph at the bottom of the deck a relaxation somebody's going to be able to have like a really good life okay after all is said and done all right we have court in reverse failure to appear or A date could be pushed back. The number 23 and 5 could be significant. We have good gentlemen. So there is a bad gentleman that may not be able to make it to, to court or something is being pushed back. I don't know what the circumstances are. Hmm, something could be happening to the um, bad gentleman on the day of court. Okay. There's a rich good gentleman that's very highly honored. Tell us more about this uh, rich, good gentleman. Somebody here didn't expect something. And they're trying to litigate this. Okay, there is a woman that could be falling ill. Okay, there was no time to act. Somebody's in grief and adversity. Okay, about this. Somebody doesn't have access to a home or can't go in or whatever the case may be. This person could be not too far away from the person in jail. She's the main person to this masculine. I'm telling you, something happened to this woman or this masculine, whatever this is. Because I see fright. Somebody's afraid or somebody here has been unalive or may have been attempted to be unalive. Okay, somebody was mad because a woman was officially married or um, on the verge to marrying someone. Ooh, this was a breaking and an entering to take something. 
okay? Because somebody knew of positive changes happening to a person and they went to somebody's home and created a lot of sad news for this woman here. Somebody here could have been found unresponsive. I'm telling you, prison and theft. Somebody's going to go to jail for trying to steal something from you and attempted, um, you know what? Okay. There's something about a, a person traveling overseas to a city home. Okay. There's a non-made person, a, a woman that could have wanted something taken care of. So this woman could have been behind it, but she's getting sick. So she'll get to her karma. She's getting her karma here. Because she set something up for a person to be robbed. This was another feminine. I'm telling you, bereavement. So somebody's going to be in pain, sorrow, losing somebody, guilty, etc. Let's see what else is going on and then I'm going to get out of here. We have happily dating on and off. A newborn child or baby, personality, brief conversation, inheritance, death in the family. So a death needed to happen in order for a child to benefit from this inheritance so that she could take care of a child. Definitely a yes. Investigation, and I'll call you back. So there's definitely going to be um, a wrapping up of some sort of case. The letter M could be significant and self-defense. You may have had to defend yourself against somebody that has the name that starts with the letter M, okay? I feel like somebody could be granted immunity at this time uh, to uh, dodge some sort of like uh, possible jail time or whatever the case may be. So somebody had to snitch, okay? I don't like the fact that this type of message came out this morning, but I have to follow what the messages are telling me here. We have a karmic mother, yep. Somebody here is going to be reaching out to you, whoever this karmic mother is, okay? You could be anxious about this, okay? Somebody here could have had a scar or there's a, a scar that's significant, okay? This person could have did this or uh, because somebody wasn't watching a child, a child was scarred or whatever the case may be, we have peer pressure, so you could be pressured to troll somebody or somebody is trolling you. Somebody here will be admitted to the emergency room or, or need to go there. We have Jezebel spirit. So there's a Jezebel that could be going to the ER. All right. Yep. Somebody here is acting as if they trust their, their person. Or having to trust their individual. What is this uh, Jezebel and go, having to go to the ER? We have the five of wands. There was some sort of fighter, somebody that could have been in competition or there was a lot of like um, kind of being sarcastic. There was some sort of breakout of a fight over an emperor, an Aries, a powerful man, boss daddy type energy, okay? Somebody just after the, 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 the fortune, the fame, the, the cloud, everything. I'll be damned if I fight over somebody like that. Okay, somebody's mad because a person no longer wants to have any ties to them. Okay, somebody's giving it up. But somebody wants to keep something going so they're willing to fight whoever this person is with multiple people for this Aries here. But y'all should be mad at this Aries for having y'all in this third party situation and thinking that you're the, the only one. I'm telling you. Anyway, somebody's not putting any more energy into uh, seeing what could possibly happen with this Knight of Cups energy. Somebody's not interested in a person, but they just don't get it, okay? Somebody could be hiding their feelings for an empress, but there's a tower or some sort of change, okay? Something is going to work out or somebody is putting effort or wants to collab with you, work with you, whatever this is, or you wanting to work with them. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.